Hey, what's up, Anfinex? This is AJ from AndroidRoots.com. We have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus GSM, and this method will only work for GSM, not Verizon, not Sprint, and not any other device. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install and unroot to the official 4.2 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy Nexus GSM only. Um, so let's just head down to settings and show you I'm on 4.2 Jelly Bean, and then the, we'll get started. And I do want to warn you, as you can see right there, it's 4.2. I want to warn you that it will delete everything on your phone. So please do back up everything on your phone because it will be deleted. Back up your apps, music, movies, everything. Back, back it up to your computer. And then you can restore it after you're installing a 4.2 Jelly Bean. Or upload it to Dropbox or uh, Google Drive, anywhere like that. Um, multiple ways to back up your contacts, Gmail, all everything you need. So let's get it started. Um, first thing you need to do is enter your phone into bootloader mode. So power off your phone. And only one more time, this will delete everything on your phone. Back it up. So once it's powered off, press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go the power, but keep pulling volume up and volume down. All three. Vibration, let go power. And I want to let you know I will have written step-by-step um, -step guides for this video and all my other videos for um, everything I do in the link in the description below so definitely click on that link it'll be a written step-by-step -step guide for this if you just uh, can't read the command prompt all everything I think I'm talking too fast or anything like that so once that's done plug your phone in via micro USB and the, U the USB side to your computer of course so once that's complete uh, we're gonna head down to our computer Okay, so my phone is still plugged in and it's still in bootloader mode. So as you can see on the screen right here, um, there's a folder named install.unroot.galaxynexusgsm.4.2. So this folder right here, as always, I have a link in the description below. So just download that file right away, unzip it, and move the unzip folder to your desktop. So as you can see, um, this folder is on my desktop, so make sure yours is on your desktop too, or you can run into problems. So once you got all, all that downloaded and set up, Open a command prompt and we're going, to type in, we're going to type in some commands. So first command we're going to type in is cd desktop. Enter. cd install.unroot.galaxynexusgsm.4.2. Enter. And now we're going to do fastboot. Flash. Bootloader. Space boot. And you can just press tab and it'll automatically fill it in for you. Press enter and now it's going to be flashing the stock bootloader. That's complete. Let's reboot the bootloader now. So fast boot, space, reboot, space, or dash, bootloader. Reboot, yes, uh, bootloader. Enter and now it's going to reboot the bootloader. Give it a few seconds. Now we're going to flash the radio. So flash, fast boot, flash, radio, space, radio, tab, automatically filled in for you press enter now it's gonna be flashing the radio give it a few seconds and now we're gonna reboot the reboot the bootloader once again so fast boot space reboot space bootloader enter it's gonna reboot the bootloader give it a few seconds okay now we're gonna get we're gonna do the big file so now we're gonna do fast boot space dash w space update space image you press tab again and it'll automatically fill it in for you just like before press enter and now it'll automatically um it's gonna uh, flash all the boot images and all the stock images on your galaxy nexus and once this process is complete it's gonna um reboot your phone and you're gonna be on stack 4.2 um so give this a few seconds and once it's uh finished um installing about two minutes um it'll start rebooting so i'll be back when it's done um installing so as you can see now, it's rebooting. Um, it says complete at the bottom, time finished. And now the phone is rebooting at the stack 4.2 Jelly Bean for your Galaxy Nexus GSM only. Um, give this a few seconds. It'll take about two minutes to boot up. And once this does finish booting up, uh, you'll be on stock. But um, if you're planning on sending it back to the manufacturer um, because you want to, um, maybe something's wrong with it or you just want to get a refund or anything like that, keep watching this video. But if you're planning on installing Clackomart Recovery, rooting your phone then you're good to go uh, wait until finish booting up set up enter your email and all that so I'll be back once it's done and we'll finish up the process if you're only planning on sending it back to the manufacturer 
Okay, let's finish booting up. So since we're plan if only continue if you're planning on sending it back to the manufacturer or Google. So we're gonna enter into boot order one more time. So unplug your phone and power off your phone. And we're gonna do the same process of entering into bootloader mode and we're gonna lock our bootloader. So press the volume up, volume down, and a power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go the power. Okay, you'll be on this screen. And before we continue, I just wanna show you right there, um, hopefully it does focus. Um, it says uh, lock state locked, or uh, lock state unlocked, so we're gonna lock that bootloader up. So just plug in your phone once again. And we're going to type in one last command into command prompt. So let's type in one last command into command prompt and then we are done. So in command prompt once again we're going to type in fastboot OEM lock. So I'm going to press enter and this is going to lock the bootloader. So if this focuses, um, as you can see it's white right there and I know when I zoom out. And there you go you should be able to see it now. Um, it says lock state locked. So that means your bootloader is locked up. Just press the power button to um, reboot your phone into normal. And now you can set up your phone, uh, uh, send it back to your manufacturer or anything like that. And still click on my recovery if you really do want to, but you're gonna end up unlocking your bootloader anyway. So that is how you install the pure 100% official 4.2 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy Nexus GSM for Windows. And as you can see on the annotations up above right there, I have it for Mac as well. So don't check that out if you have a Mac. Um, thanks for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as that does help me out a lot and you'll be notified when I upload more content like this for Galaxy Nexus, RAM reviews, and a lot more other devices as well. And if you found this video helpful, helpful, it worked for you and it's all good and to go, don't forget to uh, give me this uh, big old thumbs up on this video as well. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Enjoy. Yeah.